Okay, so as you uh, seen in my re uh, release video on these, um, I did get three pair. I pre-ordered one from um, Atlas 1216. They're one of like the newest uh, suppliers and pre-orders. I've had a lot of people, or I know a lot of people that have bought from them. So I went ahead and um, tested it out to see what it'd be like. They, they had pretty good prices on these and uh, I didn't know how a release would go and I didn't think that I'd get them reserved, which is kind of surprising. Uh, maybe Nike's been paying attention, I don't know, I highly doubt it because they don't give a fuck about anything or their consumers. I got my regular size, so I'll have uh, two personals, one to rock and one to stock. Um, I think the one from Nike is going to be the one that I rock, Air Jordan 1, Retro, OG 555-088-013, size 14. I got these reserved on Thursday, I woke up to it, and of course, you know, I had to go through with it, and lo and behold, here they are. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love Jordan 1s, it's by far my favorite, favorite shoe, and I think with this one now, I'm up to, I think with these three pairs of shadows, I think I'm up to 30, 29 or 30, I'm not completely sure, but this is pretty close to... 30. Um, of course, you know, they changed up the label, which I kind of find weird. I don't know if they did to throw off, like, companies that make fakes or something, or what they did with that. This is a men's 14, women's 15 and a half. If they made women's shoes up to 15 and a half, I'd probably wear them. So. Uh, ooh, okay. I see. I see you. All right. So, ooh, I can. Ooh, they smell so good. That brand new shoe smell. Nike does it every single time. It smells uh, so good. I don't know what laces I'm gonna do with these. Um, I actually might have a lace sponsor now, actually. So I might have to go uh, through with them and see if I can get some uh, like black, like wax laces or something, or like gray wax or something, or gray leather, I don't know. But I wanted to do gray with these because I have so many ones with just regular black laces and this is what I wanted to change up. Since, you know, it's, as far as I can tell, right now it's a very, very beautiful shoe. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in right there. Okay. We're going to do it together like we always do. Alright. Ooh, just, just looking behind this paper, this, this pair is honestly just killing it, okay? Okay? Like, no Jordan 1s can be very inconsistent, and these were upon the leather quality of the 2016 Breads and the 2017 Royals, and I think this is with the Breads, these blow the uh, Royals out of the water, I gotta say that. Ooh, yes. Yes, boy. Yes, boy. Let's look at these. Look at these bad boys. Ooh, I got a good pair. Ooh, I got a good pair. Oh man. Go ahead and give you a close up there. You see that? You can see that. I don't know if it's gonna be able to show it in the light, but you can see the tumble on the black, black weather panel. Let's go around the back. Just superb, superb leather. They. Honestly, like, this is the first Jordan one I've seen with a tumbled leather, uh, leather panel. Not only, like, it feels like plastic, but these are, these are absolutely fucking perfect. As, as with every Jordan one, the more you wear them, the softer they get. So, if you got a pair and they are not up to your quality, just wear them, even though they are gonna crease. You can put sneaker shields in them, okay? Uh... But, like I was saying, the more you wear them, the softer they're going to get, even if they do a crease. And Jordan 1s look better when they're creased up, so don't be afraid to wear your Jordan 1s, alright? Let's, uh, let's look at the other one right here. Oh, I don't know. This Nike pair, like, absolutely, like, whew. 
Compared to the 13 I got, oh my god, these blow them out of the water. This side, you can see the leather. Oh man, you can see it. You just, like, look at that. You can see the tumble just all around the shoe. Like, it's absolutely insane. Just take another look at those. Oof, yes. I'm very impressed with these. I must say so myself. I will be doing the comparison to Atlas with the Nike pair compared to the Atlas pair and then maybe I'll put the Foot Locker pair in there. I don't know. Considering Nike and Foot Locker are pretty much the same thing. Man, I am very impressed with this shoe. So if you like this unboxing, make sure to hit that uh, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, we're, we're 15 away from 500. Uh, I haven't been making very many videos since I haven't bought anything worth making a video for. So let's uh, let's get to 500. And if you haven't already, again, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and subscribe to mine and Vic's channel, Mike and Vic Kicks, because hopefully during the summertime we'll both have more time and we'll be able to record uh, dope customs and unboxings and shit like that. So. Reviewing on foot coming soon, even though um, there's a plethora of Shadow One reviews on YouTube already. I just know it. I haven't even looked. But if you want to see my total perspective, my perspective, my perspective on this shoe, just come and watch my video. Don't pay attention to anyone else, because if you're here watching my channel, I'm the only one that matters. All right? All right. So, Shadow Ones. Did you cop? Did you take an L? I hope you didn't take an L because this shoe is absolutely fucking amazing. And I say that not just because I'm like on like the Jordan 1 bandwagon or anything, but Jordan 1 is obviously my favorite shoe and I fucking love these. Didn't have the 2013, so of course I had to get the 2018 and these obviously blow them out of the water because 2013 leather was trash. But that's besides the point. So if you enjoyed, like, I'm subscribing and all the good stuff and I'll be back with another video once the time comes so peace out y'all